Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. And Ron Hilliard's back, and you've been watching that storm closely too. People have been monitoring Hurricane Barrel. So, where does it stand right now? How strong is it right now? It was a powerful storm, and it is still very powerful, but it has weakened, fortunately, Damon, down to Category 2. Now, at its peak, it was a very strong Category 5, the top of the Saffir Simpson scale. Here's where it is right now. It is to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula with that Category 2 rating right now. Winds topping out sustained at 110 miles per hour. And places that you may be very familiar with, that you may have visited, Cancun, they're under a hurricane warning bracing for the storm with a possible landfall late tonight, early tomorrow morning. It's going to be tracking through the Gulf of Mexico and then making its arrival again for a potential second landfall in Mexico or potentially if this moves a little bit farther toward the north, impacting or having a direct landfall possibly in southern Texas. So places like Brownsville could have the brunt of that storm as well. And then as it moves inland, it will weaken as a tropical storm and then a depression giving some heavy rain to southern portions of Texas as we get into Monday and Tuesday. Coming back home here in Detroit, we have a lot of cloud cover on this 4th of July. We've had some of those scattered rain showers moving through the area, mostly from west to east. Let's get a little bit closer so we can see where some of these rain showers are right now. We're getting some very light rain around the Adrian area. Also, as you get into Monroe County, as we get closer, you'll see places such as Dundee getting those very light showers. Again, I emphasize light because it looks a little bit worse on radar, but just a few drops coming out of this around the Mount Clemens area. You have to get farther toward the north, getting into the Midland area and getting into Huron County to get some of those showers with heavier rainfall. So here's a look right now. Belleville Lake, beautiful conditions. Looks like a little spider out there having fun. We look into downtown Detroit, looking toward southwest Detroit and it is likewise cloudy in the area. Those temperatures coming in right now at 79 degrees in Pontiac and in Mount Clemens. We're at 83 in the city of Detroit and we're at 78 in Howell. So we are seeing those temperatures roughly around 80 degrees. The humidity is out there, but it feels just a few degrees warmer, not substantially warmer. Those winds right now are mostly coming out of the southwest right around five miles per hour, gusts about 10 miles per hour. Clouds and radar forecast. We have a few of those spotty showers still in the area right now. Very spotty and most of that wrapping up in time for the fireworks shows in Clawson and elsewhere here in Metro Detroit. Now, as we get later into the evening, we're still going to have those clouds, but we have the clearing happening. This front is moving in our direction and behind it cooler more refreshing air now this is going to be a look at tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock we have a couple of showers in our area let's zoom in a little bit tighter so you can see what we're expecting because more showers and thunderstorms on the way to our area getting right around noon we start to see a couple of these showers moving into our area about three o'clock they'll be widely scattered and some could have some heavy rain and maybe some gusty winds getting into tomorrow evening a couple of spotty showers are still in the area and with this there is the chance that some could have some gusty winds this is going to be primarily from us 23 and eastward across metro detroit so our main risk is going to be the wind out there as we look at some of those temperatures out there and the humidity it's more refreshing and i do want to just step out of the way and just show you what we can expect over the next couple of days as we go into the weekend we're in the lower to mid 80s and then wrapping out the end of the week and into next week we're looking at more showers and thunderstorms out there